Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today, I wanted to create a video to show you all how I find the best fonts to customize my lessons and resources. In this video, I'll show you my favorite sites to find fonts and even some hacks to choosing the perfect font for any project. So stay tuned to find the best ways to elevate your resources and take them to the next level. One of my favorite websites to use is dafont.com. This site offers free fonts that are free for personal use. So you can use any of these fonts that you find here um, to create worksheets or PowerPoints or any type of resource for your classroom, for your students, or for anything that is personal. But you cannot use these fonts that you found on dafont.com for anything that you're going to sell. So. I really like this website. It's super easy to navigate and to find what you want. You can see what each of these fonts look like here and they show you a glimpse of what it would look like and you can just simply press the download button when you have found one that you like. They have so many different categories up on the top, fancy, foreign look, techno, basic, script, and even holiday. My favorite ones to use are the cartoon um, which you can see here just because they're super fun and bold and attractive and I teach kindergarten and um, They're just really inviting for my students. So I use these a lot for resources that I use in class I also like the script category where you can find a lot of just handwriting and lettering um, and really beautiful cursive here and again, if you find one that you come across that you like, you just simply press download and it will download straight to your computer um, and install into your font book. So it's really, really easy to use. What's also really cool is that they have a holiday section here where you can go and find fonts that are specific for different holiday themes like Christmas. If I click here, you can see all of these really thematic looking fonts that you can choose from. So again, this website is really perfect if you are using fonts for personal use and they have thousands of fonts that you can go through and look through um, and download for free. So definitely check out dafont.com and I'll link the website in the description box below. If you are looking for fonts that you can own and have commercial license for, Creative Fabrica is an amazing website and I am so happy that I've come across it. It's saved me so much money because they are super, super cheap um, for purchasing fonts that you can use in resources that you're going to sell on Teachers Pay Teachers or whatever you're doing if you're creating um, shirts or products on Etsy or anything like that. You have a commercial license to the fonts that you download here. So if you look on the home page, you can see that they have these amazing bundles. For example, I bought this bundle, all font collections for only $10 and it has over 460 fonts. It is awesome. Um, one of my favorite bundles that I have purchased is this quirky and crafty font bundle. It has 51 fonts for $8 and again, a commercial license comes along with it. So if I clicked here on quirky fonts, you can see that the bundle looks like this. And here in this section, it shows you what you get. You have unlimited downloads of all of the fonts that are included within this bundle, commercial license, pr premium tech support, and they're super high quality and easy to download and install on your computer. And again, that's only $8. So. I thought that was pretty amazing and definitely worthwhile because, you know, you do want to do things correctly, especially when you're selling things. And this is just a good way to kind of cover all of your bases. I also really liked how it showed you what each of these fonts would look like here. So these are the fonts that are included within the bundle. So you can kind of just go through and see if this is something that you're interested in before making the decision to spend any money. So... I am so happy I came across this website because it saved me so much money because of how cheap they are. Um, $8 for 51 fonts and a commercial license is an absolutely amazing deal. So 
you guys can check this website out. I will also link it in the description box um, below and see if there's any fonts that you like and that you feel like is worth, um, you know, investing in. Once you have found all of the fonts that you're interested in, whether it's from dafont.com or Creative Fabrica or just a font that you have installed on your computer, you want to be able to easily go through them all and figure out which font is perfect for the project that you're doing at the time. So I have found this website called wordmark.it where you can easily enter in a word or a phrase and then we'll generate what that word or phrase looks like using every single font that you have installed on your computer. So let's go ahead and try it out using my YouTube channel name, Loving Little Learners. I will simply just write in the phrase or the text that I would like and press enter. And then as you can see, it generates what Loving Little Learners looks like in every single font that I have installed on my computer. From here, I can filter it even more. I can go through and see which ones I like, which ones I'm interested in, and just click. And you can see a little blue bar goes around the ones that I am selecting. And I can go through and figure out all of the fonts that I'm interested in and kind of begin to narrow it down. And again, this is going to generate for all of the fonts that you have on your computer. So your list could be long or little, depending on how many fonts you have. Once you're done, you can go to filter selected and then you can see it's going to just show me all of the ones that I has, have said that I like. Um, you can save this image from here or print this image if you do buy the subscription to wordmark.it, um, which is $18 for the year, I believe, but you don't even have to do that. You can kind of just look here and say, oh, this is the font that I like, and you can find that font directly on your computer by just looking at the name that's shown under the generated text. So you can do that where you can kind of filter them you can also go through and let's generate them again. And then you can see what it looks like as a lowercase script here. If I go to the type the bar where I typed in my word and I click on the two lowercase a's, you can see what it looks like in all lowercase and see if this is something that you like even more. Like I like these three here when it's all lowercase. And you can also see what it looks like in all uppercase and see if that's something that you're interested in as well. So there are some features that come with a paid account. I'm showing you just on the free account, which is what I use. Um, but if you do get the pro account, there are some different features where you can kind of just see what it looks like in dark mode like that and see what it looks like against a dark background. You can tag. Um, browse Google fonts to see what they would use look like um, with your Google suite apps. And there's just some more like saving the image and not having advertisements that would come along with buying that pro account. But like I said, I use the free account and it works just fine this way. But this is just an amazing way and a great hack to kind of just narrow down and see what it is that you're interested in and what your font would look like instead of having to click through um, a long list of fonts on PowerPoint or Word or whatever it is you're using. Simple, quick, and all in one place. Another way that you can kind of just go through all of the fonts that you have already installed on your computer and narrow down using the computer application that you already have installed is to open up your computer's font book. So this looks a little different on a Mac versus a window, but every computer does have a font book installed. And I'm going to show you what the Mac one looks like. So if you click on font book, you're going to see all of the fonts that you have installed under a specific user come up with a long list of just names. And to the right of the name, you can see what this font looks like here. So there's also a couple of different options that you can use to kind of test out what each of these fonts look like. If you go here on the left, you can see 
um, with that paragraph kind of uh, icon, you can see what every single letter within this font and as well as number looks like, like you can see here. If you go to this little like waffle icon, you can see what every single symbol, uppercase and lowercase letter looks like using the same font. If you go to this next icon where you have the uppercase and lowercase a, you can type in a font or, or sorry, a phrase that you want to test out. So if I just delete what comes, I can type in a phrase and see what it looks like in every single font that I have. So now I can go through my long list of font names here um, and just kind of scroll through by using my down key and see what it looks like using every single different font um, that I have installed on my computer. And if I like one, I stop and I'm just going to jot down that name of the font or take note and then know that when it's time to create my resource or my project, that is a font that I want to choose from my drop down list. So this is just, again, a really good way to kind of use what you already have installed on your computer to go through all of the fonts that you do have and see what it looks like and narrow down to figure out what's perfect for the project that you are going to be creating. If you work with Google Suite and you use Google Slides or Google Docs, you know that there are not many font options available on this platform. As you can see, if I click on my text and I go to my text dropdown, I can just see a few fonts that are available to use on Google Slides or Google Docs. And this is my list, including the extra fonts that I've downloaded using this more fonts option. And there's still not a lot to choose from. So what you can do is instead click on this add-ons option and you can download an add-on called Extensis Fonts. So let's click here, add-ons, and go to get add-ons. Once you do, you can see that a search bar kind of pops up where you get to search for any add-ons that work within Google Slides. So we're going to search for Extensis Fonts. And you can see, I already have it installed, but you would just go ahead and press install. And this shows that it can be used with Google Slides and Google Docs. So perfect for what we need. You'll go ahead and click and follow the steps to install this onto your computer or into your Google Suite. And once you do, you can access it by again, clicking on add-ons and then just type uh, choosing where it says extensive fonts and press start. It's going to pop up here on the right corner with all of the fonts that you're now able to use in Google Slides or Google Documents depending on which one you're on, you're in. So if I just select my font, like so, highlight it, I can now change the font by just clicking any of the options that are available here on the right. You can sort these fonts in alphabetical order or popularity, and then you can look for specific types of fonts. So if I want script or handwriting, I can go through and filter this way. And as you can see, there's just so many more options and you can see what their names are. And again, these are going to be able to be used directly on Google Suite, which is perfect. I know that we have so many options on PowerPoint and on other types of platforms, but not much on Google Suite. So this add on is exactly what we need. I have mentioned Canva the website that I used to create literally everything before in a previous video that I'll add a card to um, above. But if you have Canva Pro, which is free for educators, you can download your fonts directly into Canva and use them to create any resources here. So if you go to Canva, your homepage, here on the left-hand side, you can see where it says Brand Kit. So let's click on that and you can upload your logos and any color palettes that you want. 
But what I'm interested in is the brand fonts over here. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom of my font list, you can see there's an option to upload a font. Once you click here, it will allow you to upload 20 fonts at a time to your Canva account. And that way you can utilize all of the fonts that you've downloaded using dafont.com or Creative Fabrica and use them within all of the resources that you make on Canva. So this is just a really easy way to kind of combine everything that we just talked about into one place where you're able to create your worksheets or your assignments for your students or whatever it is that you're doing all from here. So it is just perfect um, to kind of encompass everything that we've talked about. Thank you for watching. I hope that you guys found great hacks and websites to help spruce up all of your documents and kind of just elevate them to the next level. I really use everything that I talked about here in this video um, when I'm creating anything whether it's for my class or for my kids at home or for Teachers Pay Teachers, no matter what it is, I always use one of these different resources to, again, just make my documents look that much better. So I will link everything that was talked about in this video in the description box below. So go ahead and take a look and you can just click directly from there. Um, to get to anything that you're interested in. So I, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Press the like button below if you did. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.